Hey guys, Chris from Axe Effects Tutorials here, and today I just wanted to make a quick video showing the new LFO Bypass Reset parameter added in firmware 18.06 for the Axe Effects 2. Now, this is a new parameter found in the flanger and phaser block. So here's a flanger block, and this is where it appears in the advanced menu, kind of under all the LFO stuff. Then in a phaser block, it's also in the advanced uh, menu, uh, near all the LFO stuff. So there it is. And since the firmware just came out, this parameter is only available on the front panel. It's not added to Axe Edit yet. So go to your front panel and follow along if you want to use this. Now for this demo, I'm only going to use a flanger sound, so I'm going to get rid of this phaser block for now. And let's enter our flanger edit screen, and there it is. Now there are five settings and four new settings, you could say. Um, the first setting is off, and this is how it's always been, and I'll describe all these with audio examples a bit later. But uh, basically set to off, this is how the flanger or phaser blocks have always functioned. Um, the next setting you can select is 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and finally 270 degrees. Now it's actually pretty difficult to come up with a simple way to explain these degrees and how that interacts with the LFO phase parameter here. So I would just say try all of these, just experiment, take some time and see what gives the best sound to you, um, whether it's 0 degrees, 90, 180, or 270. Um, but let's do some experimentation right now with the flanger block. So let's see how this all works. I've programmed a button down here on the bottom left called flanger, and I'll be turning this button on and off to engage and bypass the flanger block in my preset. Now let's hear what it sounds like uh, first of all in general. So I'm going to hold a chord, uh, turn it on, and we're going to hear the entire range of this flanger sweep. Here we go. So you can kind of hear how it went low and high and low and high. Let me try and do like one round. Here we go. There, it kind of started in the middle, but it went down and then up. So that's the full range of the flanger. One more time. All right, so with the LFO bypass reset off, this new parameter set off, this is how it's been this entire time until the addition of this parameter. So basically that sweep is going low to high the entire time. And whenever we turn it on, we just catch it wherever it is, uh, you know, as we turn it on. So let's hear that. I'm going to turn the switch on and off, and uh, you'll hear, you know, the flanger come in just wherever it happens to be at that moment. Here we go. So I think you get the idea. You can hear when I engage that block by pressing the switch, it just turned on and wherever it was, you know, it, it was up in the high part, up in the low, down on the low part, whatever, it, it turned on. Now with the LFO bypass reset parameter, we can actually choose where it starts. So I'm going to set it to zero degrees, and that's one of the four options. And let's listen as I play, and then I'm going to turn the switch on and off just like before, and let's see if uh, it starts in the same place every time. Here we go. Cool, we can hear that it definitely starts in the same place every time, and to me it sounded like it turned on just before it started ramping back up. So it was at its lowest point and then it ramped up. Uh, so that was zero degrees. Let's try 90 degrees, which is the next option. Here we go. <laughs> Cool, that was 90 degrees. It sounds like it's already going from low to high in that one. Let's try uh, 180 degrees. Here we go. So that one sounded like uh, it was starting just before it goes from high to low, the high sweep to the low sweep, kind of the exact opposite of zero degrees, which makes sense since uh, 0 degrees and 180 degrees are exactly opposite from each other. 
Um, so let's try the last one, which is uh, 270 degrees. Here we go. Well, and that one sounds like it's already coming down. So it's starting from the top, but already in motion uh, to come down. Uh, so that's cool. And that to me sounds like something I'd use in this song. So that's really cool. I can have it start right at the top of that sweep every time I turn it on. Um, and that'll help me play a song like that. Keep in mind that the LFO phase setting in your flanger or phaser block will affect how the bypass reset works. That's just a quick look at that. You're gonna want to experiment with the four settings um, and all your other flanger or phaser settings. This also works in the phaser block, but again, I just showed the flanger for this. So have fun experimenting with the new LFO bypass reset parameter.